friends. I was just finishing up my breakfast. Did y'all have a great breakfast today? Ooh, tell me all about it. What is your favorite thing to eat? Hmm. I really like English muffins. I like them with cream cheese and sometimes I put vegetables on top. Sometimes I really like yogurt, especially with grape nuts. My little one, she calls grape nuts sad sprinkles, which always kind of makes me laugh. If you got to come to my breakfast table, what do you think you would like to eat? Would you like to try something that I made? Or go with something easy like cereal? I think if you came to my breakfast table, I would want to know ahead of time because I hate disappointing people when they come over to eat, whether it's breakfast or lunch or dinner. And I know that God wants us to share our food with others. So one of my favorite ways to show that I love others is to feed them. One verse in the Bible, it's called Luke 6.30, says, Give to everyone who asks of you. And if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. And that was my important idea for this week is I wanted to be sure to try to say yes to helping as much as I can. So if someone needs me to bring them something or do something for them, I wanted to say yes. If I have it to give, I will give it to you. And maybe that means food, like at my breakfast table. And maybe that means something like my time or my labor. Have anyone asked you for anything this week? Maybe help around the house or to get something done or to hand them something. These are all examples of opportunities for you to give back to another person. And when you start looking at how many times we ask for something, we realize that we ask a lot of other people. And because we love one another, we do our best to help each other. And this was something I started thinking about this week because all of you who know my daughter, Isabel, she is in a therapy right now. And one of her big goals is to ask for things she needs because she's still learning to communicate. So we keep track of every time she asks for something and we mark down if it's something different. So we want to see if she can do 10 different things, 20 different things, 30 different things. And some days she asks for one or two things and that's it. And some days she asks for lots and lots of things. So by fulfilling those asks, I am sharing God's love with her because God wants us to cheerfully give. But even though people don't always ask for things, do they sometimes need things? Let's think if you've ever felt this way. Hmm. Let's go back to food. <laughs> Every night you eat a particular meal. Dinner, right. So when it's dinner time, do you say, I'm hungry, I need food, give me this food, and then you start naming all the foods you can? That'd be super silly and probably pretty stressful. But does your family make food anyway? They do. We make it automatically, don't we? Even though you don't ask to eat breakfast or lunch or dinner, those meals are part of our routine. They're things that people are doing for you that fulfill your needs, even if you don't think to ask for them. Some things, maybe our younger siblings start getting fussy and they cry and they're rubbing their eyes. What do you think they might need? Hmm. A nap? Yes. But how many babies say, oh, pardon me, I need a nap, please. May you please change my diaper? Could you get me a fresh bottle, please? No, that'd be ridiculous. But they cry out. 
And we have to figure out as parents or as big siblings, we have to figure out what they might need, even if they can't ask us. Now, these are not limited to our own family tables. It's not limited to those we have in our homes, especially at a time like right now when we can't really go to other people's houses a whole lot. It involves God's table and he made all of this amazing food and she had all this amazing love and has all of this knowledge and he created this wonderful world for us to experience and he welcomes all of us at his table. He wants us all to join together, to pray together, to eat together, to share together. He wants our community to stretch all across this land at his big table. And is it just so we can go and we'll eat food and we all leave? That would be a really strange meal. Matthew 4.4 4 says, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. We are not only sharing our food. We also share our message. We share what we have available. So if we have our extra clothes that we don't, don't need right now, we share those with others. If we have room in our homes, we might bring in other lives. If we want to just spread love like light, we can share those messages with others. So today's activity, I have a color page for you and you can print off whichever ones of the pages you want. There is a non-colored one, totally open. There is a colored one. And there's one that if you have a parent that is away or working or might need some help thinking of one, it has the verse right on it. And one of the verses that I want to focus on sharing at my table this week is Deuteronomy 31, 6. So putting together my placemat to say that God welcomes all here at my table. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. This week, I want my message to be one of love and strength. To know that whatsoever you may need, I am here and we are here and we want to share it with you and we support and recognize what you are going through. God is with you always and we can be too. So for our final prayer together today, we're going to say a promise to God's children throughout our communities. Ready? Shake off your sillies. Put your hands however you like them. God is with you and so are we. Please reach out if you need anything from any of us here. You are so loved and important in God's eyes as well as ours. We give not reluctantly or under compulsion but in cheerful giving as God loves and we shall learn and follow. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy Sunday, my friends. I hope you love thinking up your own message that you want to share. For our younger kiddos, pick a word or phrase that you want to practice this week. For our older kiddos and parents, find a verse that speaks to you that you wish to live through today. I love you all so much. Bye-bye.